Right, everyone. Welcome back to here. Right, really late today. Took, taking me ages to get on. Right, so hello, Dan, Breathe Fire, Chocolate Muffin, and Jamie. You right? And he said, maybe Mike's doing his hair. My nose has. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go up my channel so I can do the pop-up chat. It's easier for me to read it and that then. <clears throat> right, pause that, turn that down. I'll be able to see you all properly in a minute. <clears throat> right, leave that on. Right, I'm on. Yeah. So, hello, Len. Um, yeah. I said hello to everyone so far, and I. <laughs> James says you're late, Mike. That's not acceptable. <laughs> We're rushing around like fuck tonight. I may have to go downstairs again now because I still ain't ready. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a. Uh, sorry, I'm not. I'm not all there tonight. <laughs> right. I'm going to give you a 30-second ad, and then I'll be back. Enjoy the advert. Surprise me. Let me come back to some donations. Did I beat it? No, I didn't. <clears throat> I'm back. How is everyone? I know Zed had just come on just as I went downstairs. Camera's not in the right place. <clears throat> I'm in a bit of a weird mood tonight. Uh, Dan said, getting worried. Oh, my voice is going all funny as well. Dan said, um, getting worried you wasn't sleeping tonight. Now, it's definitely coming on. Just, I'll tell you what, I had so much stuff to do. I just couldn't get it done tonight. <sighs> Liam's on, you're right, Liam. Uh, Riggs is on. You're right, Riggs. How you doing, mate? Liam said, all right, everyone, yeah. Um, not loads today. Just had a busy day. I've had a weird day. But my guts have been out and again. When I say guts, though, the weird thing is not. It seems like the muscles in my stomach, and it it changes time. It changes sides. Don't matter though. Um, but yeah, I say don't matter because people ask and I tell them and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, the only problem is when you talk about illnesses, it starts getting on to, is it this? Is it that? Is it this? Is it that? Is it that? And then. It starts going so bad, you know, the next minute, you know, someone's telling you you've got symptoms for fucking something's going to kill you or something. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So if, if anyone ever says, how are you? I'll tell them, but then that's the end of it. <clears throat> Brave Fires, I've seen this guy on TikTok, Mike. We spent 300 quid on a um, Scottish basket hilt sword, and he's not even bottle cutting with it. you got to do a bit of bottle cutting with it, ain't you? I'll be honest with you, I never used to do any bottle cutting. And what I'll tell you what it was. It was that sword up there. That was the first thing I ever cut. That was the first sword. I had all these, you know, all this stuff, and I never, I never used to cut with any of them, like for fun. I didn't really know it was even a thing. You know what I mean? And then I think I'd seen some people cutting some bottles, or someone suggested using that to cut some milk bottles. 
And I'll tell you what, I've never stopped. I love I love cutting, especially milk jugs. If you start going on to stuff like this, it, you need a bit of skill and you need a very sharp sword. Whereas the um, your milk jugs, I don't know why I did that. That was me imitating the sword. The milk jugs are lovely to cut and you can cut them with a reasonably, reasonably sharp sword. And the other thing I love about cutting milk jugs, you can get multiple cuts out of them if you get a, if you have a decent sized stand. Because I don't want to stand there, do one cut, and then that's the end of it. That's boring to me. I want to be able to get quite a few cuts out of a bottle. So that's why I really enjoy doing the milk jug cutting. No flash art, you right, mate? Bristol. Ian said same ones with the CRT accent years ago. Yes. Well, well, I don't know now, Liam. This is the weird thing, Liam. It seemed like it was. Now it now it doesn't. So I don't know if I'm. I don't even know if I'm just imagining it because I don't know. You know when you just got nothing to do and you just concentrate on like a pain, and then because it's like moves around. How could it move around on the outside? It's like the muscles are hurting, but on the outside, fucking bizarre. But I originally did think it was that, but now it feels on the outside, Liam. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've strained without realizing and pulled the muscles, and I just don't know it. Who knows? Zed said, you've got that thing from Sputnik inside you. <laughs> ah, imagine. That'd be super strong as well, wouldn't I? I think he was super strong, wouldn't he? Well, yeah, he couldn't really... Yeah, I won't go too much into it in case people want to watch it. But... <sighs> this is what I say. I say I'm good when I'm hanging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hanging. I might be tomorrow, though. Tactical, you right, mate? How you doing? Stephen Plastered, you right? Stephen, who was on? Was that but did you have two accounts on last night? Because I noticed there was a Stephen Plastered and Stephen Plasterer, I think. And I wasn't sure if it was that person doing those fake accounts again. Gumble Sabu said, after watching um Will Keith doing bottle cutting, put me right off it myself. Don't want to look as fast as him. Bless him. I've never seen that. You'll have to send me that. Um <laughs> but I enjoy I really enjoy the bottle cutting, yeah. And with with the um as I say, with the milk jugs, the four pint milk jugs, you can get multiple cuts out of it. So you're not literally putting a bottle up, cutting it, put a bottle up, cutting it. That would bore me. I want to be able to put a bottle up, get quite a few cuts out of it, and enjoy myself. <laughs> Zod. Where did Zod come from? I can't remember now. Bristol said, uh, nail a bottle to a wooden base as a test. Yeah, that would work. What you probably could do is drill a hole that would fit the lid of a bottle tightly and slot that in. And then you could probably get quite a few cuts in. But, yeah, without um, – it bores me. I, I want to be able to get multiple cuts. Um, yeah. And sadly, I've given in to temptation tonight. I was going to try and drink without telling anyone, see when, it, see if anyone would notice, but that's that, that's that over, because I've already told you. Dan, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better soon, buddy. Hopefully it goes. Hopefully it goes. I don't know. But the thing is, I have, this will sound weird. I have had pains that were sort of, you know, you can get lingering pains, and then you end up concentrating on that pain and making it worse. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how this pain can change positions. It's very fucking bizarre. Maybe it's just where I put on weight and I'm just sat forward and it, you know, I've put on quite a bit of weight recently. Who knows? Don't matter, is it? Zed, oh, that was, I knew it was me who did it, Zed, but I couldn't remember. Zed said, you spelled my name Zod and claimed it was, um, just your bad writing. <laughs> Dave, you're right, mate. He said, um, you're a lucky fucker getting all the nice weapons. Yeah, as he says, I'm a lucky fucker. This this is just for me. Listen to this. This one goes to Weapon Collector. <laughs> lucky bastard. <laughs> there you go. That was just for me, that one. <clears throat> so what's everyone at tonight then? I'm going to have a drink, chat to you a lot. And then I'm going to go in the Wendy house, 
summer house and watch a comedy film, I reckon. Just trying to get them to watch horrors, but they don't want to watch them. They don't even want to watch bloody comedy horrors. Uh, what tonight you're doing that, Liam, or tomorrow? Lucky for me, I've also got some tonic water left over from last week. Tactical said my arcade joystick arrived today. Um, what's that? Bring on my Brian. Is that supposed to say that? That one went over my head. Brian, that's it, Brian. Zed said, watch The Quick and the Dead. Zed, did you mention another film earlier, or was that when you were saying about um, Sputnik? Oh, video basis is looking for parts to help him make his thing. I won't say what he can say what. <laughs> I said, thought you said toilet water. Oh... Sorry, yeah, sorry, tactical. I'm so fucking out of it tonight. Right, let me read, let me do that again. Uh, I butchered it like normal. <laughs> I, you know me, I can't even read a sentence and fucking understand it sometimes. Tactical said, My arcade joystick arrived today. <laughs> Lucky bastard. There you go. Finally. <clears throat> Now Zed's confusing me. Do I what? Who means today or yesterday? I don't know. Today's not working, is it? My my brain ain't working. Oh, sorry, Zed. I mean tonight. Yeah, I'll get you now. No, oh, it's all right. I thought earlier you mentioned the film and I didn't read it out, but I think I think I just saw the word Sputnik. The Quick and the Dead. That's the one with um, young Leonardo DiCaprio, isn't it? And is it Sharon Stone? And Russell Crowe as a priest. Yeah. Do you know what? I've only ever seen that once, not long after it came out, and I thought it was all right. Is that got, did Sam Raimi direct that as well? Because I should have watched that if it's Sam Raimi. Um, I've got a feeling that Sam Raimi made that, you know. Um, yeah. You know what? I've only ever watched that once, so I should watch it because I, I love a Western. I was going through, um, what's it called? Um Prime video, whatever it is, you know, the Amazon Prime video thing earlier, looking for um, films to watch. And I was going through quite a few westerns. Brief said, any good zombie film recommendations, new or old? I would recommend, right, I'm going to shout you out, Brief, some zombie films that I've bought on DVD. So, Brain Dead, 28 Days Later, Zombie Flesh Eaters. The Resident Evil films. Return of the Living Dead 1, 2, and 3 are good. 1 and 2 are the best, though. Especially Return of the Living Dead 1. That's just, that's funny, that one. Shaun of the Dead, Land of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. Um, Evil Dead 1 and 2, and the Army of Darkness. That's technically zombies. Yeah. That's what I've got on DVD anyway. Steven said, anyone want to talk about the Raven 29X Sniper? Never heard of it, sadly, mate, so I can't help you there. I uh, nice one, um, Riggs. I'll look at that in a second. Tactical said, anyone after a Tomcat 2 with a hollow scope and stock extender? Oh, I bet there are. If you want me to do if you really want to sell that, um, tactical, and you like really want to make sure it gets sold. I can put a video on on my channel if you want, and I bet you'd get that snapped up in a second. Then I'll just delete it. Um, and hopefully it'll be a, a you know a, someone we know, so you you know you know it's all legitimate anyway. But you know what I mean. Um, I'm now convinced they are going to ban uh, crossbows. No, not ban them, but I reckon they'll make us have to have licenses or something. Because that woman says in that thing, well, if she's as determined as I would be, I would make it happen. She says she's going to basically dedicate her life to, um, yeah. 
getting them regulated anyway. So you never know. It might just be a license. And if it's a license, I'll just get a license. You know what I mean? I don't think there's much wrong with that, really, if they want to bring in licenses. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot you can do about it, is there? I have never heard of that, Stephen. No, if it's... No, never heard of it. That's totally honest. That's a crossbow, is it? Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't... I'm not, you know, apart from the one sort... Oh, yeah, you weren't on, Liam, was you? I'll tell you in a second. Um, Hang on. I'll tell you in a second. I just want to see what this crossbow looks like. I'll be honest with you, um, Stephen, if it costs more than 150 quid, it's no interest to me. I know I've got those two, but they was... Um, they were sort of um, one was paid for completely by someone, and the other and the other one was paid for half by the same person. Last night, Liam, um, someone sent me a link to a crossbow killing that went. It actually happened three years ago, but it's. I think the inquest has only just happened like recently, like the end of the inquest, and it was a bloke who basically lived next. To, he was on a semi-detached house, so they was joined massive arguments with his neighbours and he was like a um I think he was a bit of a stoner, paranoid nutter basically. So um that he was gonna get evicted. So he went into his loft, knocked through the bricks while they was out, sat in the person's daughter's bedroom, wait for them to come back, killed the husband with a crossbow. Um he had three crossbows. One of them was a pistol crossbow with a um with two two limbs on it. One of them was a proper, you know, full-size crossbow. Um, he shot the the husband. It went through his arm and into his spine and killed him. Yeah, it was the bloke who hid in the attic. Yeah. Well, she has, the, the the woman, and I don't blame her. I'll say it to Mark. You know, if that happened to me, I could understand why she wants to do it. You know what I mean? I don't fault her for that. If she wants to get crossbows regulated, I can totally understand from her point of view why she would want to do that. You know what I mean? It's a shame for people like us who don't actually hurt people, with, you know, in any way, shape or form. But, um, yeah. But, you know, if she's as determined as she sounds, and it sounds like there's already people getting behind it. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, Liam, yeah, you said it was three years ago. It was back in the news yesterday for some reason. I, as I say, I think the full inquest, the, the results of the inquest must have finished yesterday. It was back in the news yesterday, um, and her saying that she's gonna she's gonna get them regulated, basically, in line with um, firearms. Yeah, I don't care. You know, if that's what happened, that's what happened, isn't it? Tax was yeah. Cheers, mate. Only fired it three times. Just hanging on the wall, not getting used. Bloody moaning neighbour. If you want to, if you want to, that will just message me, and I'll put a video on. You know, you let me know, and or I could put it on. I'll tell you what might be easier actually to save. I put a community post on because that goes to most people anyway, don't it? But we're, I'll talk to you about it first, so we can get. It probably won't be till Monday now. Price and all that. Zed said, "I wor wouldn't worry too much." That fellow went nuts around his town shooting people with a shotgun, and they wanted them banned. It never happened. Well, I suppose yeah, you're right there. You know, it might not. I'll be honest. I'm not. If you know, if they do, it's just. The way I figure it, it, it's just a part of life. These things happen. So if it does, then, you know, it's just it's just tough shit, isn't it? You know what I mean? I hope it don't, but I can understand it. <coughs> Liam, the same bloke as the one who got shot on his roof with a crossbow. Same time as the bloke who got shot. All ah, right, yeah. Everybody said, lol, if you need things for crossbows and firearms, then I'm getting a gun. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Start getting shotguns then, couldn't we? I'll tell you the only reason, not the only reason, but one of the other reasons I'm not interested in getting, like a, people always say to me, get a shotgun license. Uh, you can't shoot in your back garden, so I wouldn't bother. That's the next joint stream. I can pose with it. With like a Price is Right model. Yes, nice one. <laughs> Which one are you going to be? That that Emma bird who went out of John Major's son. <laughs> Joking, fuck's sake. That would be a sight. 
Lord Flashart said, if it was the Tron, I'd bite your hand off, Tactical. Cheers, by the way. Paz, yo, you right, mate? How you doing? So, yeah, don't have to talk about the crossbow stuff. I thought I'd just mention it because Liam was on. Um, yeah, I've done a lot. I played I played a couple of hours of Final Fantasy VII. I'll tell you what, I'm really enjoying that. I thought I'd I thought I'd really dislike it because I didn't like, like the last one they did, Final Fantasy XIV or XV. I didn't like XV. But in all honesty, I fucking... Final Fantasy VII Remake, loving it. Uh, Lord Flyshot said, is there new rules coming out for crossbows? No, not definitely, Lord Flash. It's just I I think I think it might happen soon, but I'm not not definite. Not definite. It's just when this woman said she's gonna dedicate the rest of her life to getting them regulated, I thought, well, there's there's a bit of a chance they might do then, because you know, if she's never gonna give up. You know what I mean? Zed said I thought you weren't doing it. I wasn't gonna Zed. I just I don't know. I definitely won't next week though. It's all good. It's oregano time. Nice one. Or do you say oregano like the Americans? <laughs> Rex, it's all right, Mike. Have you got an RX Cobra adder bolt? Oh, bolts up. What? No, I've only got. Do you mean like the. I've only got. I've never made any, if that's what you mean, Rex. I don't make them for that. Um. Yeah, I've just got like standard bolts that I use myself. I'm going to say, I had a shotgun license for five years. In all honesty, you never really own it. It's just on loan. Eventually, you would have to surrender it. See it, it? Yeah. Bergio said, are you from Kingdom Lord? Are you from the Kingdom Lord Flash Art? He is. Yes, he's, he is from the... He is, yes. He is from Scotland as well, Bergio. Liam said, never going to give you up. Is that her favourite song? <laughs> what the fucking crossbows like to say? <laughs> Fuck you now. <sighs> Video by said it's the dickhead who kills, not the object. Exactly, exactly. It was just a fucking. It was a nutter. It was a complete nutter who blamed his neighbours for all of the shit he was doing. So he was caus causing all this trouble. And because they was complaining at, about it, somehow they're the cunts and they're the people who need sh killing. So he shoots the fucking husband, kills him, tries to shoot the wife, and the bolt goes over her head, I think it said, went across her head, and he then got the bolt and tried to st stab her in the neck with it. And then he went and killed himself with drug overdose. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> was it? Was it? Perfect? He said it was the end in the sentence like that gave it away. Nice one. Steve said, you can make a wicked broadhead out of a Wilkinson razor blades. Yeah, yeah. North Florida, fair enough if they want to regulate it, as long as they don't go ape shit with it. Like you have to declare what you have. The law's never apply to the criminals, so it won't bother them. That's it, innit? You know, I'll see, we'll see what happens. It might, it might not be for years anyway. I'll make sure I sell off all my uh, bolts and shit very quickly now. You watch the bayonets will be flying out the windows now, just so I can make sure that uh, I ain't got a pile of them when a bang comes. But now, luckily, with this kind of stuff, though, it will it will take. You know how long it took them to ban like the offensive weapons? That was going on for like three years before that got done. So you've got a you know I won't do no videos announcing it first. Get rid of get sell all the stuff I need to sell, and then I'll announce it. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, Liam said this bloke could have done the same thing with a knife hammer. Exactly. 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 Mate, you know what? I don't know why they don't understand that. You know, and he would have. He would have just sat in there somewhere else. Liam said we all seem to know neighbours like this. Riley, right, mate. All flash on the Persio. I, bud. Some sabu said what I meant was anything that is licensed. No, I knew what you meant. Yeah, no, me and Liam say it. Yeah, that, um, yeah. You're essentially right renting your guns, aren't you? Um, yeah, no, I understood what you meant. When you've got a shotgun license or an um firearm license, although you've bought the guns, you're you're essentially 
renting them, aren't you? And then at any point, if the police want to take them off you, they can. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Or if you if you stop paying, if you can't afford the license anymore, you get the license took off you. Yeah, you get all your guns took off you. Yeah, no, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Tactical said, I had druggy neighbours having a rave today and the knob next door is currently shouting, no, no, no. Wankers, fucking hell. Fucking weird as fuck, isn't it? Stephen said, you'll take out my, you'll take my R29X out of my cold dead hands. <laughs> Crossbow bonfire, so yeah, exactly. Peugeot said, I'm in methyl nebs. Are well, you local to me? As to um, Lord Flash Art. Chocolate muffin said, I'm sorry, but what's the difference between a rock and a crossbow? I don't think you could ban a rock if someone called if someone with that. Yeah, we the thing is, we know that, we all know that, and that's you know, as as they say, that's preaching to the choir. You know, we we understand that, we do. It's fucking ridiculous. I ain't been up to much, Riley. Not a lot, not a lot. Printed out some stuff for my mum, some crossword puzzles that she wanted. In fact, she she was so happy with them. She said it felt like her birthday. I'd only printed I'd only printed out about twenty crosswords for her. That's what she wanted, you know. I think she likes doing the old crosswords. That's like her thing. You know what I mean? We have our weapons. She has her cross. She has. I need to say crossbows then. Crosswords. Um, but yeah, that's about all I've done today. Liam said, a rock is a Stone Age um, assault weapon. Right, Cheryl, uh, my mum is, I think, 62 or 63, but she's been ill recently. Last year, she had um, pneumonia, bad pneumonia as well, and it's affected her walking a bit. So, yeah. Yeah, 63, I think, yeah. Yeah, she was very happy with her crosswords, which was good. Hey, 63 as well, I show. Nice, yeah. I will be 41 end of April. Tactical said, what other tipple have you got? Oh, here you go then. S someone's asked. Be prepared. So that is actually vodka. That's 50% home brew um, moonshine. I uh, basically I had to rob the uh, Wendy house uh, to get these out of the um, summer house. So one of them, I think my mum's 63. I'm trying to work it out. She's about that anyway. Three of them, which you might have in a minute. Uh, one of them. <laughs> It'll be hangover time tomorrow. Two of these if I can drink them, but they are disgusting. So, yeah, a bit of everything. As long as it adds up to enough units, I'm happy. Might drink that next, so I've got it like down me. Yes, finders keepers, Paz, yeah. Um, Riley said, we all got our little hobbies, don't we? Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. That's it. Yeah, she likes doing her old crosswords and that. And she's there's these specific ones that if you buy the crossword books, I never thought I'd be talking about crosswords on here, but, you know, we all just chat, don't we? If you buy crossword books, the, the, cross, the crosswords, it's not a crossword, but it's a puzzle. The puzzle that she really likes in the books, there's only four of them. So she buys the books, you know. So she found this website that's got loads of these specific puzzles on. And I've been printing them out for her. She said she's got about, I printed out 21 today. She said that should last her a good few weeks. Chocolate said, think you stole them from the fridge, didn't you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Persia says it's stealing. It's not stealing, it's trying to keep us. Exactly. Well, Flyshot said, I'm wanting 
to try and get one of those HMK 150 right helmets with the, with the fixable um, C50 mask. I ain't got a clue what that one is. That's uh, your part magpie, I swear. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of... It's certainly a different... Um, yeah, it's a lot... I don't know what you call it. They say don't mix your drinks, but yeah, I certainly shall be tonight. Seems that I'm 48, uh, but that's only my um, alcohol volume. <laughs> my real age is I'm no bastard. Oh, God's sake. Matt, uh, that VK Blue bitch pop is not you. <laughs> You're having a night off real buzz. No, i got all the real stuff. I've still got all the real stuff. No, nah, it's just um, I didn't have time to ask anyone to get me any booze tonight. So I've had to just um, scrape up what I can find. Cheryl said, we all have our fun. I'm entertained with YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like, I like YouTube as well. That's a good, you know, especially... People seem to really enjoy these live streams. You can have a nice chat on here, have a bit of fun. And, you know, as you're saying, we don't necessarily talk about the things you'd expect. We talk about anything on here. Wolf says, I'm not drinking in for another six months. I was in bed till 2 p.m. today and super dehydrated from that Bells I had last night. Bet you were, mate. Bet you were. I might, after tonight, I'm going to have two weeks off till my birthday. And then I might try and have a long time off of it. Liam said the law of flash art. That would be cool, but seems the right advisor is already outdated. I don't need to read that. He's chatting to um, old flash art there. Are you from Indiana, USA, are you? Shell, nice. That's good. Yeah, we have quite a few Americans on here. Saying that, though, I think right now you may be the only one. Um, I can, no, I think there might be a couple more. But, yeah, we do have quite a few American viewers on here occasionally. Depends what time at night and what day it is. Saturday, they wouldn't be at work. So, yeah. That's when shit hit the fan, I know I'm sending out to look for booze. Yeah, like a sniffer dog, you know. <laughs> Sniff it out. As I said, old, old enough to know better. Too young to care. So, so, so fun to meet me first. It is. It is, yeah. That's, that is the good thing about these. You know, you do get to... um. You get to have you do meet some new people, have a nice chat. And Riley said, Do you like paintballing or airsoft? I've never done either, and I'll be honest with you, I've never really been tempted. Um, I, 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 I've, I, I reckon I'd go paintballing with people I trust. Um, yeah. But I don't mean I'd want to do it with strangers, and I don't want, I don't mean I'd want to do it with people I didn't trust to. Be sensible because if they started, you know, acting stupid and doing stupid things, I would probably go over the top myself, <laughs> you know, stopping them basically. Liam said, I'm yet to find out if the new visors are special plastic or film coating. Steve said, I'll admit that I have a drink problem, two hands and only one mouth. Yeah, and not enough time. First said, Mike is a sportsman, not hunter. <laughs> Matt said, Michael, I've got a new job as a bridge keeper, Gloucester, to um, sharpen this canal. I'm paid to do fuck all and watch your videos. Happy days. Nice one. That sounds good to me, mate. No, nice I'm glad. I'm glad. Glad you got that sorted, mate. Uh, is it Bath? Sorry, mate. I can't read your. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to call you Bathed. Hello, yes, hello. Wolf said, "said What's Land of the Dead on Amazon earlier? Zombies are getting intelligent using weapons and problems." Of yes, yeah, but at least they're still slow as well, aren't they? Chocolate miles, yeah, stuff is good, but you need the money to get into it. Really, that's a tactical. Don't send my cat to find booze; it'll be gone. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, I'll just come back stinking of booze, and yeah, or I would have hidden it all somewhere. Said I didn't find any. Krylon, you right, mate? How are you? Brian. Nice one, Brian. Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, hello, Brian. How you doing, mate? You all right? Uh, 
Yeah. Well, I hope everyone's having a good evening or a good day. It's evening in the UK for the people who aren't over here. Um, it's 20 to 11 right now. By the way, just in case anyone ever wanted to, you can donate to the cause for this channel if you wanted to. There's the StreamYard thing. Not StreamYard, I'm on StreamYard, sorry. There's the coffee.com donations. The link is in the description at the top saying about donations. Or if you put in exclamation mark support, the link will come up. I'll show you a little 30-second video of how to do it. I'll be back in a second. There you go. Don't feel you need to, but if you ever wanted to, because this channel is completely demonetized, and if you did contribute, you do help like for the stuff I make and that, you know, when I make like knives and that. You lot basically pay for that stuff because I don't have ads on my channel. I'm not allowed ads. I was demonetized. It does, you know, you do help the um make help the channel grow basically. Uh, Brian said he's having a good night. Catch a piss on now. I didn't go. I didn't go. I thought I'd just pour myself a drink while I had the chance. <laughs> Splash the cash. Oh, there you go, Cheryl. So, Crylon is from Indiana. Matt said, uh, Mike, Stacy wants you to read us, review the, the, the sandbox <laughs> on me. Will it hurt? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, that thing is horrendous. <laughs> I reckon that would break your skin. Yeah, that, that thing when I've seen people hitting things with that. Um, oh, my God. I reckon that kill. Hey, Honda, how you doing, mate? You all right? You moving, are you? I did not know that. All right, that goes well. You, you far, moving far or not? Hey, Honda, Jesus Christ, man. Moving sucks. Yeah, them old sandbox. Oh, my God. That thing waxed like I bet that'd hurt more than a whip. <laughs> Brian said most firearms channels unfortunately get demonetized. Do channels mainly about swords and knives as well? Luckily not. I I had a different issue, Brian. Sadly, um, it was partly my own fault. It was very 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 early on in my channel, about nine years ago. Maybe I don't know if I've been on it. I may have been on it. It may have been like over ten years ago. And I made the mistake, you're not allowed to do this, I made the mistake of basically saying to people, don't forget to click the ads before you go. That's a big no-no with AdSense. But I was unaware of that, so you'd think they'd at least give you a warning first, but no. So it was my own fault. What's that, said? Let me have a look at that. Are oh, you not moving far, though? But, yeah, I bet that's... Um, I've seen that... Um, yeah, um, Zed, I've seen them before. Yeah, weirdly enough, they're still legal over here. Yeah, I hope your move goes well, E Honda, because I know that can be quite a, um, yeah, it can be a pain, can't it? No, so I don't think the plod would be too pleased to find those on you, though. Yeah, you won't be, yeah, definitely couldn't carry it. But yeah, you can still buy them and make them, weirdly enough. People sell them on um, Etsy. There's a bit of drama in my area with some dogs today. So what is people's plans to deal with aggressive dogs? Yeah, that's it. Riley said, have you seen the medieval fights on YouTube? The guys throw each other around and whack them over the head of axes. Yeah, I've seen that. Cheryl saying, oh, well. What was that about the demonetization thing? Yeah. North Flyshot said, Liam, is it holographic filter film type thing that disperses the laser back? Also said Scalagrim has the best sword fighting videos. Yeah, I was watching a bit of some of his videos today. He was doing a um I can't remember. Yeah, you know the video that was on today. I can't remember how to, to describe it, but about like fake sword fighting, wasn't it? Uh 
His name's Brian. He told me in the end, Liam. Brian. Yeah, you must have missed that. But anyway, he said, one of my friends does that. It's called HMC. Oh, what? The, the sword fighting stuff, you mean? Steven said, my dogs, please look at my page, UK police. Please look at my page, UK police. I don't think my dog likes you, officer. <laughs> Sorry. I have seen some of the medieval fights, yeah. Quite a few people on tonight, but reasonably quiet chat for some reason. Is everyone liking the uh, stream, by the way? I hope you are. <laughs> yeah. What, Peach? Her Majesty's Customs, yeah. Don't normally go into this kind of thing. I don't suppose this isn't politics and it isn't religion either. But did you watch? We won't go on about it too much because it can be quite diversive. If that's the word. Slightly like drunk now, so I'm not even sure. Um... I did watch Prince Philip's uh, funeral today. Though. All five shots said, Liam, that's pretty cool. Hope for a shop in the market soon. Persia said, I'd love to get involved in HEMA. So I said, yeah, you seem very nice. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, no, I tried, I tried to be a nice person. You know. Chocolate muffin. Anything new coming up? I've got, I've got a load of torch reviews I need to do. Loads of them. I'm turning into the review channel that soon. So I've got two O light flashlights, a vast fire flashlight, two knife reviews I need to do. Yeah. Oh, historical medieval combat. Nice one, Peter. I was trying to work out what it would be. All flashlights said instructions unclear. Didn't like the stream. <laughs> Reported for nudity instead. Don't. Liam said, seems they make them for gas marks for US cops. Dad said, it's about sex, if anything. They're talking about cunts, after all. <laughs> so. I suppose it is. I suppose it is. So I said, then I watched a documentary about Prince Philip's... I oh, did, yeah. Yeah. I didn't... Yeah, I've not seen that, but, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Prince Philip had actually done... You know, we won't go on about it too much, and I think people get a bit bored by that kind of talk. But um, Prince Philip had actually done a hell of a lot more than I ever thought he had. Yeah, yeah, I bet that was. Yeah, I bet that was interesting. If if you're into those kind of things, I bet it's very interesting. And I'll, I'll tell you what, a lot of people there's a lot more people who liked him than sort of disliked him. I think you know when you look into it. But then I suppose it's, you know, they're selecting an audience, aren't they? Liam said, I bet Greta got angry at um, <laughs> Philip's Land Rover Hearst. I thought that was brilliant, that. Yeah, Land Rover Hearst. I know, I, thought, I generally thought that was brilliant. Charlie, you right, mate? How you doing? He said, good evening from your second favourite tattooer. <laughs> they love you. you. You would be my number one active tattooer. <laughs> How you doing, Charlie? and Emma, and anyone else who's there. <clears throat> we'll meet up soon. I'll sort it out soon, Charlie. A couple of weeks or something. But I just, uh, maybe maybe for my birthday, it's just about two weeks. Um, but I just said, I'm night shift, and honestly don't see the point of carrying a flashlight if there's one on my phone. I don't need the extra shit in my pockets. I like a big torch, so you know that. And that has more purposes then. Steam said, WC, I'd like to watch the aforementioned video and then tell me I haven't the best legal weapon I had in the UK. <laughs> and they put her in a sanatorium. Sanitarium, yeah, that's that's terrible, isn't it? Because she was deaf, wasn't she? Or partly deaf, wasn't she, or something? I know, I know that. Riley said, you'll get huge if you keep posting your videos, bro. You'll be the weapon guy everyone goes goes to for sure. Keep grinding. Thank you, Riley. I've been on here for about 12 years. <laughs> Tough old grind, but I won't stop. Brian said, do you like Japanese blades from 20th century? Yes. The closest I've got to that, I have got a Japanese sword 
from the 20th century just there there you go well said i can't stand uh, greta bumberg she reminds me of a computer the computer from resident evil <laughs> Dr. Perjo, saves your phone battery and handy in a pinch. Yeah. I, I like a separate flashlight because I like the strobe and don't have to mess around getting it on your phone. But if you only ever use a torch as a torch, see, my torch is more than the torch. But if, you ever, if you're just using a torch as a torch, you might as well just use your phone. Um, Nani Tat said, birthday meetup sounds like a plan. Can't wait to see you and have a drink. We'll do that, Charlie. Even if it's just sat on the green again, like last time, that was still, a, you know, I still really enjoyed that. So um, I'll get hold of you in a couple of days, and I'll probably be hungover the next couple of days. In in you know, at least a week before I'll get hold of you, tell you what to come up and that, and get hold of Jake and that. Virgil, I've got the power bank in my bag, just in case tactical, but uh, enough shit in my pocket while I'm at work. Stephen said, got to go, guys. Good stuff tonight. Um, for me as a new viewer. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. Glad you enjoy it, mate. Brian said, I want a Shin Gunto from the Russo-Japanese War. Um, the kind that has a European-style hill. I think I've seen them. Brian, if you look on my channel, uh, can anyone remember what was that? What what was that one? Was it Type Thirty Two? I think that's a Type Thirty Two, Brian. Have a look on my channel though. Look up. Um, I don't know if, if you look up Sword, you should find it. Quite a few videos will come up for Sword, but it won't be more than twenty, I doubt. Wolf said, "What Shire are you in?" Yeah, I love I love being in a Shire, especially as I'm I'm one of the characters out of the um, Lord of the Rings. Uh, Buckingham Shire. <laughs> Percy said, tried carrying one for a while and just pissed me off. Well, I suppose, though, Percy, if you don't like certain things in your pockets, you know, it gets on your nerves, doesn't it? Riley said, do you work or anything or do you focus on YouTube? I'm in a weird situation, Riley, that I don't work. Like, this is why I asked for the donations, right? Because I don't work and I don't get any benefits. I literally have no income apart from my Patreon and my coffee.com donations and it's all stuff like that and people using my affiliate links i, I get nothing from the government and nothing from work um i'll get money from selling like my crossbow accessories it's a weird situation if i wanted to i could probably get a job tomorrow you know there's loads of jobs i could do but it would then mean right so my mum I still, you know, I live in my family house. It's not just me and my mum. It's me, you know, this it's a whole household. There's one, two, there's about five, six people living in this house. It's our family home. It's too expensive to move out. Anyway, if I started working, she would have to give up her job. She can just about work if she can sit down. So she would have to give up her job. She would probably have to give up her car. She can't walk. So she needs her car to drive. So it's actually easier for me to stay at home. I can do all the stuff that she would have traditionally done, cook, clean and that, look after the house. Um, you know, I'll do cook her food and that and cook people's dinners. And um, it enables her to still be out of the car, work when she can work. Yeah. It, it sort of works out all right. And it means I can... I can um, do YouTube basically. I don't have a lot of money. That's the thing. That's why I say about the donations because um, the problem is if I if I signed on for my mum's not sort of disabled enough for me to get paid for a carer, and also if I signed on for what do they call it? I can't remember what you call it. It's not job support, is it? Whatever job seekers, they would find me a job and make me work. So it, it don't work. I can't do it. It's a shame. <laughs> That said, Mike, yeah, Giblet, son of groin. The <laughs> said, I'm tempted to buy one of those flashlight holsters, but to put a laser pen in, nice one. Irishman, you right, mate? How are you? Right, that's crazy. Well, that's why I don't sign on, Riley. It don't, it don't really work. I'm in a weird situation where it would might probably be more difficult. Because they'll make me work. And then, as I said, I could get a job tomorrow if I wanted to. 
But if I work, my mum would have to give up her job, which means she'd have to give up a car. Then she wouldn't be able to get anywhere. So it's, it's easier for me. I don't mind. I don't mind it how it is like this. It works. It works. <laughs> Spam wise, hands you exactly. It's more like it. But yeah, it's a weird situation. But I literally, uh, I genuinely think a lot of people don't believe it. But I literally have no. I've never signed on ever. But I'm, I am in a weird situation where I don't really need, you know, if I, if I need money, I'm fucked. But a lot of the time, I don't. So and that's why I have the backups with, like, the crossbow stuff. If I ever need to, and, like, with the torches and that, I can just pile them up. And, you know, I've got, like, I've got quite a lot of money's worth of torches. I could sell if I ever need money for that. Now, Mo, you right, mate? How you doing? Archetypes, I wasted loads of time this month asking for help from the government. None to be had. Yeah, that's a shame, Archetype. That sounds like a nightmare, mate. Riley said, my cousin signed up for um, UC for a while now and ain't got, got him to work. Matt said, Mike, you should get a job as the Anna Decker's relief hermit to fill in for me in the days. I might just try to put, put in a good word for me. <laughs> Irishman said, I'm in a similar situation to you, Mike. Yeah, you know, it's it's it sort of works, but it means I'm skinned all the time. Because people see all this stuff and think, you know, he's lying. Ad. Both those two crosswords were paid for by someone else. And the uh, and the part I did pay towards it was um paid out the Patreon money, which is yeah. And a lot of the other stuff I've I've not actually bought, I think in the last 10 years. I've probably only bought about three or four things, which was the Horizon Redback, the Tomcat 2, and the Tron. Most of the other stuff I've had for fucking 20 years or um, well, it was donated, you know. Universal credit, yeah. Yeah, damn. I, I'm in a city, don't matter. You know what I mean? If, if I ever need the money, I'll do that, um, you know. But at the minute, I'm actually all right. I haven't got their money, but I can live. You get used to it. You get you, you know, people say, how did you live like that? You get used to it. Archetype, they're giving me competitors massive subsidies. Crazy amounts I've seen. 10, 10K per individual. Yeah, that's sad, really, isn't it, that they do that. You right, Rich? How you doing, mate? How's your day been? Got got anything done today? <laughs> Matt said, good reply. <laughs> I think that might have been moonshine. That had a, had a bit of twinge moonshine taste to it. I was um, I was looking for some films to watch today. What did I write down? I spent so long just trying to decide what to watch and never watched one. So I wrote down, who's ever seen the film A Dark Song? That's quite a good film. Um, do you know who Steve Oram is? I reckon if you saw a picture of Steve Oram, you'd know who it is. He's um, he's usually in comedies. He's in quite a few comedy things. He's in Sightseers with Alice Lowe. A Dark Song is about a woman who wants to basically... I think she wants to do some kind of occult ritual to talk to maybe the devil. I don't know. Or something, I don't know, anyway. To, she wants to talk to her son, basically. No, no, she wants to do an occult sort of ritual to talk to a god to see if she can get her son back. Who's died, obviously. But um, it, the, the most of the film is them doing all the rituals. Now. It's, I, I would reckon, if you, I think A Dark Song is on Amazon Prime. Someone watch it and let me know what you think of it. I really liked um. Um, a dark song. Riley said, did you work in the past? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to work, yeah. Yeah, I've done landscape gardening. I worked in the mechanics for a bit. Worked in a B&Q, which is a hardware store. And I've done cleaning jobs for a couple of years. And then my main job, my longest job, was, was installing hardwood floors for John Lewis, subcontract. Yeah, Liam, you would know who Steve Oram is. He's, I think he's in that uh, film. You know that one. 
So like I said, I haven't been watching much lately. Kind of have to be in the mood to watch one. I am. I am something. I'm like that. Reeve said there's a fight tonight, I think. Yeah, I saw that. Jake Paul versus Ben. Who's Ben Askren then? Is he an actual... No, Jake Paul's a fucking um, YouTuber, isn't he? What's... Who is Ben Askren? From the Dark, about an Irish vampire. All right, we'll start looking at that. Lord Flash up, so I still want to watch Wizard of Oz with no stand and start Pink Floyd, that side of the moon at the same time. I've heard that as well. I don't know anyone who tried it. <laughs> but sure, I'd still love to see Jake Paul get slapped about. I just can't bear looking at him. I <laughs> have to see it happen. I was just, does he fight people who are not fighters or something? You know, because obviously, if he's a YouTuber and never really been into that kind of stuff, mixed martial arts, surely if he come up with an actual seasoned martial arts fighter, they'd just fucking batter him, wouldn't they? Richard said, Mike, any plans to do heavier bulk tests for the Cobra line? Eventually, Rich. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me at the minute, Rich. I've got no motivation for things. This shit done help. Um, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Tactical said... Yeah, I... I, I I've, I haven't really got much of an opinion on Jake Paul. I don't know, you know, I don't know who he is. I just know he's a YouTuber, and most people think he's a knob. <laughs> tactical fit. Tactical said, you're an expert. Um, you're the horror expert. Saw a film years ago. Bloke says the last one getting sacrificed to a cult, chases them for the rest of the film. That's a twist ending. Now that I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't recall that. Um I don't know. That does seem to ring a bit of a bell. You know me, though. She's got a tiny little bit of booze on me. My brain goes to fucking fog. Wolf says, I'd like the pawn of the Wizard of Oz. The witches melt when she gets his done. Reeves said, the last he fought was an NBA player. I think so, yeah. Not a boxer. Is it boxing as well, not MMA? Ah, so Ben Askren was a former UFC fighter. And it's a boxing match. All ah, right. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, because MMA ain't boxing, is it? That's why, you know, um, Floyd Mayweather versus um, Conor McGregor, you know. Yeah, it's, they're both fighting, but boxing's a very, you know, they're very different sports, aren't they? <laughs> Boxing, you can win purely just by points and, you know, never actually really, you know, you don't have to knock the other opponent out. It's a skillful placing of <laughs> your fist place. You know, that's a terrible way to put it. But Brian said, for some reason, you mentioned stuff about Jake Paul fighting. It reminds me of another bloke. <laughs> He's fighting an MMA fighter who beat up those fake <laughs> Tai Chi masters. Oh, Zed said to Tactical, is it the bloke that doesn't have Peter Fonda in it? The Void, yeah. How old is the film, Tactical? That that would help, actually. The, do you mean The Void, Liam? Yeah. The Void is good. Actually, you're right. That has got a bit like that, ain't it? See, what Tactical said did seem to ring a bell to me, but I wasn't sure. Um, you know, I couldn't place it. The Void, though, I really like that. I thought it was good. I like the end of it. I like the visuals at the end. I keep seeing The Void on um, Amazon Prime, and I keep getting tempted to watch it again. Dave said, can you convert Broken Arrows to pistol crossing revolts. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely can do that, mate. Um, or, say if you've got a an aluminium bolt, that, or, or even, um, I don't know about carbon fiber, because I don't know if it affects it, but an aluminium one, if it's bent, you can cut it off at the bent bit and re-put the tip back in, or the flights, whatever, and just use it as a shorter bolt or a pistol bolt. Yeah, you definitely can. I've got, a, in fact, I've got a video doing that. <laughs> 
Well, I said, yeah, two completely different sports. They are. They're completely different than how the than the way they're you know points and techniques, isn't it? Liam said, yeah, the void is the one of the girl they rescue, and then the cult surrounds Joshua. Yeah, oh, early 90s. You might have to ask me one day when I ain't been drinking tacticals. You know me, as I say. Who's the drinks in me? I struggle to fucking read English. All right, John, how you doing, mate? What's my favourite film of all time? I don't know. That, that'd be way too hard to say. Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't actually know saying that. Purely because there's quite a lot of films I really like. Love, in fact. Um, but I've never had one because different genres, you see. I, I've got my favourite Western, favourite horror, favourite sci-fi, stuff like that. Even then, it's hard to decide. I don't have an actual true 100%. Uh, maybe... Maybe something like Brain Dead or Bad Taste, just because of the amount I used to... There's probably three films I could pick from, maybe. Brain Dead, Bad Taste, or Revenge of Billy the Kid. We used to watch those every single night. So I probably watched each of those at least 100 times each. Maybe more. Wolf says, have you ever watched The Last Man on Earth in colour yet, Michael on Amazon? No, you've mentioned that a couple of times, and I keep seeing that on there, Wolf said. What I'll do, I'll add that to my... I've put in, I'm putting together like a watch list on there. I'll add it to that, because I'm pretty sure Liam's recommended me that loads of times, because that's he likes that. Um, Matt, you right, mate? How you doing? But I tell you what, mate, I watched Zulu again a few days ago. Man, that's a great movie. It is good, isn't it? Inspiring as well. I love all that kind of stuff. Wasn't that one of the... I think that is the battle that got the most ever Victoria Crosses in... You know, that, that was the event that got the most Victoria Crosses in one battle, basically. That's said, I think, which film is your favourite? Always depends on the mood you're in. That You're right. You're, you're right there, Ted. It depends on what mood you're in. If you've watched one of them recently. Yeah, because I can never say. Because I truly don't know, I don't think. But as, you know, there are some films I absolutely love. And I think they're, you know, they're equal to each other. So, yeah, even those, yeah. You're definitely right there, Ted. What's my favourite sport to watch? I don't watch any sport. The closest thing I watch to sport is darts. And it is a sport. <laughs> Wolf said he loves the music in um, Zulu. Persia said, yeah, 12 victory cross medals were awarded for that one battle. Yeah. So I said, Persia, indeed it is. The music is just right as well. It's not exactly accurate, but it doesn't matter. Well, exactly, you know... That's not very nice. That was um uh, that one was moonshine and tonic water. Have I got the left. I'll just fill the rest up. Uh, you know what I might no nah, that won't work. I was gonna put WKD in that as well. WKD, tonic water, and some kind of stuff that tastes like rum. Better not. I wouldn't have drunk tonight. The problem was I was in a funny mood and there just happens to be loads and loads and loads of booze in the um, the Wendy house, the summer house. Uh, yeah, I might need to get them not to start hiding it or something. Yeah, there are, yeah, Zulu and Zulu Dawn in there because I, the actual true event, it carried on, didn't it, afterwards? Riley said, what do you love? Like, what's your passion? Hmm. <laughs> that is a hard one. I do like going in my shed and making things, but sometimes when I'm in pain, you know, I get fucking, I'm getting terrible fucking shoulder pains nowadays. 
that becomes a bastard. I love making things in the shed. I like making knives. Knife modding. Um, do like doing that. Find it relaxing. Um, what do I love doing? I don't know. <laughs> Dead not. Yeah, that's the fuck's that. No, I'm starting to read full people's names out. Zed said, BRB, got a slay, a huge flappy bastard on inset that's pissing me off. You've got your window open, Zed. John said, Falk and War films online. Show it from the perspective it would be to see it from both sides. That'd be interesting. I was saying that. Are there actually any um are there any I've never seen a Falklands War film, I don't think. I like dramatisation. Yeah, Platoon's good, Matt. I like Platoon. I also like Apocalypse Now, but I like Apocalypse Now Redux, which is the long version. Richard said, the other Zulu film is the first battle the British lost. Tap said, a bit in Zulu Dawn, but not giving ammo out. is a lie. Going to explain the defeat. Ah, right, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, and it was before, yeah. Yeah, you know, this you you know, I know, I know what you mean. It's stug on stug, you're not allowed to do this, but if anyone donates tonight, don't forget there's a little special video I can play. Stug is allowed to donate, but he's, he, <laughs> he probably donates twice around twice a week. <laughs> Which I am very grateful for, Stug, but um you gotta leave some you gotta leave some stuff for the other people. <laughs> Brian said there was a museum near where I used to live. And they had a pistol the officer used at Rock's Drift. Nice, yeah, that'd be amazing seeing that. Lord Flash said, Did you like Apocalypto, Mike? Yeah, I did like that, and I, I actually want to watch that again soon. Let me write that down. I'm gonna get that. Doug, yeah, Doug said, yep, I'm on. Yeah, Apocalypto. That's actually a good film, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that. Quite graphic as well. Yeah, I'm going to get that again. Yeah, I liked that. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Who asked me that? Or Flash Up. Walsh said, Woke Zulu will be good when the BBC do it. <laughs> Idris Elba will be gone, your brother. Yeah, imagine. Would they even still keep these going? I reckon I know, a lot of them have got the outsiders. <laughs> Stag said, yeah, get get donating you gits, exactly. There's some video here I'm itching to play, at least just once tonight. Better actually check, just in case I ain't getting the notifications, and it'll say like five people have donated I didn't know. Where is it on here? No, last one was three days ago. And guess who it was? Stugless. <laughs> Matt said, what about Jason Yargons? Yeah, Jason Yargons, excellent. I used to love them. Yeah, brilliant films. Yeah, really, really used to like them as a kid. I, was just, I liked them in Zulum when the missionary gets pissed and starts screaming. You're all going to die. <laughs> Chris Me said, just... Um, Come in from doing some yard work. I was from Chris. Where are you from, Chris? <coughs> a bit late to be doing yard work in the UK. Matt said, I think trying to watch the whole Zulu, the volume off, and the song of Africa by Toto, full blast would be freaky. Go on, give it a go. How do you donate, John? You There's a link in the top of the description, or... If you put in, if you look up, yeah, I'll put it in, exclamation mark, look, exclamation mark support. Pick that link that comes up afterwards. It'll come up in a second. The coffee.com one. And then you just buy me a coffee, as they call it. You can buy me one coffee, which would be two quid. Buy me as many as you want. And it goes straight into my PayPal, basically. I have got a video that shows it. Zed, Zed said, back, got the fucker. But are you now boiling hot from running around the room trying to kill it? Because I've now put, like, um, 
netting over my windows when I open them. But I ain't chase it when it's, it's not that hot tonight. You know it's boiling hot, boiling hot, and you're chasing a fucking moth around, <coughs> and then because um, it's flying around your telly, and then you're fucking dying by by the time you've done it. Or you're so hot. <laughs> John, I can put a video on if you want, but I don't think you need it. That does not go, but it's better than nothing. The alcohol content is all I want. Wild Geese 2, never seen it. But yeah, if you do support, I've got a little video I can play for you. It's only got to be two quid. That might get me some uh, rivets. Now, it all adds up. It does all add up, and I do appreciate it, actually, because a lot of you lot do genuinely do support. And if you don't support, you support me in other ways. So I do appreciate it. But as I said, I'd love to see a remake of The Longest Day with modern actors. Never seen that. Talking about remakes, though, have you ever? who's ever seen The Vanishing? which I think is like a 1970s or 80s French film, is it? The Vanishing. You ever seen that? I only found out today that they remade that and they changed the end. I don't know why these cunts do it. It's like with that film Martyrs. The end of Martyrs, the original, if you ever watched the film Martyrs, do not watch the remake because they changed the end on the remake. That's it, John. Yeah, that one. The one that says Nightbot says to give a one-off donation, click this link. That's it, John. Thank you, John, if you do. I appreciate it, mate. Briefs it at the moment. My favourite film is probably Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I liked that. Do you know what? I really, really enjoyed that. Yeah. No, not the... Not the, not that one. It's about. Let me check. It is the vanishing. Vanishing. Oh no! What? Hang on. When the original? Yeah, it's called the vanishing though. But yeah, um, when was the original made? Nineteen eighty-eight. 1988, and it is... Is it French? But it's a good film, anyway. I'd recommend it. If you've never seen The Vanishing, 1988, watch it. <coughs> but it surprised me that the, it was just typical that they'd remade it and they changed the best part of the film. Oh, I did, Chris. Yes, nice woman. Yeah, yeah, I did see where you said you lived... Yeah, Montana, nice one, mate. Yeah, thank you. I just wondered, yeah, because yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit late doing yard. Well, the word, the fact that you said yard work should have given it away as well. I have not seen all all quiet on the Western Front. <coughs> the strange thing is, you you assume I've seen a lot of war films. I haven't, <coughs> especially World War One and World War Two ones. I've not. I've probably seen more Vietnam films. <laughs> Not the Sandra Bullock one, no, if you mean the, the Vanishing. Now nah, you're all good, Chris. Yeah, I did I did see where you said you live. Now nah, you're all good, mate. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I really like that. Who said they like that? <laughs> Brief there. Chris said there's a Civil War short film my dad loved. About 30 minutes long, I think. Really intense film. They said, if those Martians invade now, what was left of them would be in, within zoos within a week or two. <clears throat> Jim on. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you're right, JBO. How you doing, mate? I hope all is good. All flat said, what's your opinion on planet terror? 
Yeah, that's yeah, that's the Robert Rodriguez one, wasn't it? You had Robert Rodriguez do Planet Terror, and Quentin Tarantino did um, the one with Kurt Russell, uh, Death Proof. I really like both of those, although Death Proof. I wish it didn't have the ending it had. I'd rather he just fucking yeah. But yeah, Planet Terror, excellent. Yeah, I love Planet Terror. That's a really good, you know, grind grindhouse throwback. You know, really explicit um, graphic gore and all that. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah quite a fan of Planet Terror actually. Yeah, JBO said not not bad. Cheers, Mike. I'll you. Not bad. Yeah, not bad as well. Not great. Not terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right though. Yeah, Planet Terror is good. I don't actually own Planet Terror though. I had it on, like, I had it downloaded, nice HD version. But I lost, I've lost all my hard films that I had on my hard drive. So I may, I'm going to write that down. I might get myself a nice for my birthday. I might get myself a nice, possibly Blu-ray of. Can you get a Grindhouse DVD that's got both of them on? Or grind out Blu ray. Yeah, I might get myself that for my birthday or ask for it. Get someone else to buy it for me. <laughs> yeah, Soldier's good. I've got Soldier somewhere. That'd be up in my sci fi, so that should be up there. Soldier. And weirdly, it's not. What the fuck is that then? That's strange. Why is that not up there? That's weird. I've got Soldier. You got a lot of Maybe I never bought one DVD. Sure. I did. No, there it is. Yeah, I've got, I've got Soldier. Yeah, it is up there. Is everyone liking the stream, by the way? <clears throat> Your Dog Soldiers. That's another excellent film. All said. All Flash Out said, yeah, you can get the double feature with Death Broom Black Terror. That's how it was to show in the cinema. That's it. Yeah, because that's what it was supposed to be, wasn't it? With all the fake trailers as well done by quite a lot of famous um there's quite a lot of famous directors doing the the fake um the fake trailers and the one of the fake trailers machete spawned that to machete film didn't they i think i think that's right isn't it matt said got to sleep mike have a good drink a day off work tomorrow opening <laughs> bridges to boats great to have a work vid right yeah nice one matt say hello to us Stacy, um, yeah. Hope she's hope she's all right. What's she doing tonight anyway? An early one. Yeah, good night, Matt. See you later, mate. So I'm nicely drunk now. Chris Mead said, "What was the movie with the iced tea? The game? Not sure." Dad said, "I think Big Trouble Little China was one of Kurt Russell's best films. I like that. I I love. I I can't believe that." Some people actually say that um, Big Trouble in Little China is an actual, it's a bad film. It's not a bad film at all. It's a tongue in cheek fucking comedy sci fi fantasy film, isn't it? You know, it's not supposed to be taken seriously. I love Big Trouble in Little China, and anyone who says it's crap is actually wrong. Yeah, Watch for a Time in Hollywood is good, isn't it? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I've got big trouble little China up there. That I'll tell you what, if you watch any John Carpenter films, if you've got them on DVD or Blu-ray, definitely listen to the audio commentaries. Especially if it's someone like if it's John Carpenter and Kurt Russell and they're both on it. Excellent commentaries. John Carpenter's commentaries are good anyway, even if it's if it's if it's John Carpenter on his own, or John Carpenter and what was what was his producer's name? Deborah was it Deborah Hill? I can't remember her name now. She died quite young. John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, I think that's her name. When it's always John Carpenter if it's a John Carpenter film, but he does them with other people, sometimes with the actors. Um what's her name? Anyway. But yeah, John Carpenter and Kurt Russell doing commentary is great. Do you not watch the commentaries on films? Because you'll be surprised. If it's a film you really like. You'll be surprised how much really, really, really interesting things you'll get out of the commentaries. 
I used to think the commentary is, oh, that sounds like a load of shite. I've, yeah, Evil Dead commentary, fucking amazing. Because there's a separate one with Sam Raimi. There's two, or, there's two audio commentaries. One with Sam Raimi, one with Bruce Campbell. And they both sort of take the piss out of each other and contradict each other deliberately as a joke. <laughs> like, you know, Bruce Campbell will be saying that they literally chucked him down the stairs, shit like that. And then Sam Raimi will say he fell down the stairs, that kind of stuff. But they talk about the same things. Yeah, Escape from L.A. I like both of them, Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. Jim, they're great films, aren't they? Then I've only got Escape from New York. I, I never got that buying um, Escape from L.A. I stopped buying any DVDs for years, though. I used to have this weird thing that when I bought DVDs, I'd only buy new. This was years ago when I used to work. If I bought DVDs, I'd only buy brand new DVDs. I refused to buy second hand ones. It's just weird. I just wanted, like, you know, because I had the money to do it. Um, stopped buying DVDs for years and years and years. I've started buying quite a lot of DVDs again now, but all of the DVDs I buy are like two quid each. So, yeah, I'll have to look for a um, second hand copy of um, Escape from LA soon. Because I do want to complete my, I do want to complete my John Carpenter. Um, collection. I, I also want to complete my David Lynch collection. Right, Bob, how you doing, mate? And he said, I found the thing. Um, commentary, Kurt Russell. Yeah, yeah, Kurt, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, is that what you're saying? The commentary on the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's got, um, <coughs> pretty sure the thing has got John Carpenter and Kurt Russell talking on it. Really, really interesting. Because did you know, I'm pretty sure the helicopters being flown in the thing, they're being flown by John Carpenter. It's cheaper for him to do it himself. Tatch said, Mike, get on eBay at the moment. You get 100 DVDs, quite good. I've seen all that. I've seen that. Yes. Seen it. Yeah. I've been tempted to get some of them. <coughs> That's good, isn't it? What's that, like 20 peaks? Yeah, in the mouth of madness is good. Yeah, yeah, I like all John Carpenter stuff. All oh, right, then I will save that one for later. Go on to something else now. <laughs> or oh, how strong are these? I think these are all right anyway. Two units per can, that ain't too bad. Well, four percent, yeah, that's not it's all right. It's better than nothing. It's booze in it. Irishman said, I know you said it before, but you haven't seen Barry Lyndon. You're missing out on a great movie. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get that soon. Actually, I may have already got it. But yeah, I I'm definitely gonna watch that, um, Irishman, because Liam often recommends that to me as well. That's Stanley Kubrick, isn't it? Chris said he was great in Suicide Kings as well. What's that one? I've never heard of that one, Chris. Or Burn Hollywood Burn. Ah, the Limey's good. I've got the Limey up there. That's in my gangster. Up there, I've got a big pile. You lot can't see this, but I've got... Oh, it's probably about... 70 DVDs in a row there. With that, there's probably 90. There's probably about 200 DVDs long there. There's probably another 200 DVDs long there. And there's probably... don't know. Maybe two, another 200 there. <laughs> and then and there's probably more than that. That's just me guessing. And then there's a whole drawer with at least another 200 in there. John says, sorry, Matt, I've tried to make a donate, but I'll try. It only comes up with American stuff. That shouldn't. I don't know why that's doing that, John, because you definitely can. Like Stug is from Ireland, and he, he donates, you know, at least once a week normally. Unless I tell him not to. No, he still does anyway, but if he wants to. Um, Zed said, have you watched Kung Fu Hustle? No, I know of it, though. I know of it.
He says, another film that people... T- I've seen that it's like completely ridiculous and mental sort of thing, yeah. Bozo started a new Skyrim playthrough today. Going to make a, a mic build. And they use crossbow. Right, crossbow and plays, and you've got to make the character look like a dwarf. As in a dwarf from um, <laughs> The Hobbit. Sing, how you doing, mate? You all right? Have you seen How to Pay? I haven't. No. <laughs> Terrible British gangster film. I have not. I know who Dave Courtney is, though. Um, no, I've never seen any of his films, I don't think. But, yeah, John, you shouldn't have no issues on... on um, let me just check myself. I'm going to click it myself. So, coffee.com. Hang on, I clicked the wrong fucking thing. Coffee.com. Up in the corner, you go to donate. Uh, it won't show me it for me. Yeah, donate. Right, click donate. PayPal. Click PayPal. Sign in. Log in. I'm going to donate two quid to my channel. Oh no, I need to put a. Th- yeah, but it should. You shouldn't have no issues. If you if you have to pay in dollars, you should still be able to do that. But I don't think you do, do you? Has right, mate? How you doing? Wall City, yeah. Skyrim has crossbows in the Dawn Guard expansion. That's good. Chris and I have an emergency. I had to have emergency surgery, so I've got nothing to do except watch movies. Did light yard work today. Just because. Well, sorry to hear that, Chris. I'm glad you can get out and about, though. That's nice to know. Um, yeah. I hope your um, surgery went well and all that. Yeah, it must be a pain. But, yeah. Get the films in, anyway. You got a chance. Well, I'll get another chance. You know, you have to go back to work and that, or whatever, or back to busy. You know what I mean? You're always welcome on here. I'm not. I'm only on here on the weekends, though. I'm. I'm. Not, I'm on in the week doing normal videos. But that's good to hear, Chris. Nice one, mate. Might have to WKD. The only thing is, they make my teeth hurt. Well, at least if I have it now, I can probably brush my teeth again. Or something, I don't know. I'm only drinking that one of them anyway. When I first, when I, I, I gave up drinking for about six years, I think. No, probably definitely not tonight, Tactical. No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to watch a film tonight. It's too much doing them too regularly. I regret them every time. Yeah, I am having a drink. <laughs> um, I gave up drinking for like six years. And when I first started drinking again, it had been so long, I didn't like the taste of beer anymore. So I started drinking. Every time we went somewhere, I would buy these, WKDs. But they give you bloody toothache after a while. Nah, too late, Pleasure. Not too late. <laughs> I suppose I could always just do this one, leave it at that. Um, I'm not sure, Stud. I've got a couple of comedy films to watch. I can't remember now. Um what was it? Maybe Cannibal the Musical. Um, you've seen that by the people who make South Park. Let me look. Oh, Bubba Hotep, maybe. Yeah, Bubba Hotep. Let me look. I'll tell you. Right, mother, how you doing, mate? So them two only ever watch comedies. So we've got, um, what did I say? The ones I just said anyway. Fuck's sake. Yeah, Bubba Hotep. Cannibal the Musical. Look what else I've got on here. There are some more, but I can't remember off the top of my head, sadly.
There's a, by the way, have you seen the film Fall of the Craze? If so, yeah, good. I haven't watched that one yet. That I look up there because I've got it. I've got Rise of the Craze and Fall of the Craze. <sighs> they are quite low budget. Yeah, you know I mean, um, I've seen the first one. <clears throat> it's Rise of the Craze and Fall of the Craze. <clears throat> they was, uh, you know, in in the scale of Cray Twins films, they're quite low. They're all right. The only thing is, the two actors look nothing like the Cray Twins and lof- nothing like each other in a way. But then, but then, did Tom Hardy really look like the Crays? Not really. Did um, did the um, was it the Camps look like the Crays? Not at all, really. Did they? At least them two was brothers, though. <clears throat> Debut, so that WKD's going to your head, Mike. <laughs> it, it straight away does. Any booze with me, Jim. I'll, I'll end up drinking about fucking 10, 12 pints worth. But, yeah. <laughs> Rolf said, if I was Burke Reynolds in Deliverance and my mate was getting bummed by inbreds, I would have left it for at least 10 minutes for a shot. <laughs> You'd have been shooting something else, wouldn't you? <laughs> Joking, mate. <laughs> First Joe said, uh, or an old Scottish movie called It's a Boys Game. All right, nice one, Persia. Oh, Singh said, I've been drinking Captain Morgan wrong, but it's harsh in the throat. Neat, compared to the lambs. Hi, right, man. How you doing, mate? He said, I would put that back of my, I would put the back of my hand <laughs> to the craze. <laughs> Yeah, but weirdly enough, I have actually got um, Fall of the Craze. Never watched it. It took me fucking three years to watch Legend because I thought I'd dislike it. I I thought it was all right in the end. Anything, it was a good film. I just didn't like. I didn't like the way they portrayed the Kratians as film uh, as twins. So, fuck, so I can't talk. I didn't like the way they portrayed the Craze twin relationship because being a twin, I don't think they would have been like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. before, before you shot your muck. <laughs> oh, God, what a phrase. <laughs> Shoot your muck. I'll tell you what, though, you can down that shit like it's nothing. I don't really down stuff, though, as in down, 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 because um, I struggle to down water, in all honesty. And anything slightly fizzy never goes down easy for me. But, um, yeah, that you can't even taste the alcohol in that. North Fast, I'm on the Morgans tonight. A Lambert and Butler helps the harsh throat. Yeah, nice. Fucking old Lambert and Butler. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to go out and watch a film. I don't know. Maybe there's a small chance I might stream afterwards, but I highly doubt it. No, I won't. I won't. I've got to control myself. My bin's over there somewhere. Thing said, uh, not yet tapped. Got to, got to try that. There's another rum, gunpowder, gunpowder busses. I think. I want to give it a go. Oh, Woods Old Navy. <sighs> yep, you're talking about spiced rums, then. You're not a white rum. Um. I only say that because that moonshine I had that was making me gag slightly, that that tasted like a, a really strong over over overproof um, rum. I don't like rum. I don't like white rum anyway. Lord Flashart said, "Mike, uh, wish me luck for my flight on Monday, mate. I ain't fine. Good luck with that, Lord Flashart." It'll go well, mate. Where are you going anyway? You don't like I liked the old Buckfast. When I when I bought some Buckfast recently, I really liked it. Um I fucking loved it, in fact. Yeah. Um but it definitely is. I can under, definitely understand why people wouldn't like it. 
Yeah, I don't know if Vinny Bash is still on or not. Yeah, he likes to have dark run, doesn't he? Peach, you on, mate? Tell us, tell us some good. Actually, Liam likes his old rums as well. But as Yodo, I think you was right. I reckon the beers would have been better first. Because now I've got to go from sweet to like bitter. I'll just wash my mouth out. <laughs> Mother said, Mike, I want like over Adder. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. If crossbows ever get banned in the UK, you might have another one as well. <laughs> might as well send it to someone who wants one. Well, I said it's coming. It's gradually coming. <clears throat> right, just so you all know, I've got to go off at 12. I'll pile my booze back in. I always said the trick for harsh spirits like moonshine is to melt a little sugar. When it's caramelised, pour a spoonful to it. Very, ah, that's a very interesting technique. Never knew that one, Irishman. Stug, I never did get any notifications. Uh, uh, donations tonight. I cannot fucking talk tonight. Thing said, yeah, dark rum. It's got a sweet taste. Never tried spice rum. Oh, so you're not actually doing spiced rum. You're doing dark rum. Yeah. <sighs> It's making me burp. More flash up said, if crossbows get banned, I'd be raging for the amount I spent on my adder. Yeah, if it, wouldn't that be a fucking nightmare? What is... What is... No, you're all right up there, isn't it? You're Sony... Um... It's air rifles, any you've got to have licenses for. Crossbows are still like down here, aren't they? As in, like nothing in it. If it did happen, Lord Flash, like, would you get a license for them? I probably would. Because it's, I ain't giving them up. All right, that was, if you want to put that sound, was his hand sound, does <clears throat> John Mann, you're right, mate. He said the perfect self defense tool is a man over 50 pocket sand. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with pocket sand. Straight in the eyes. Chris at Everclear. You, um, if you're ever tired of drinking, you can always pour, yeah, power your dragster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, I don't think you, I don't think Everclear is massively common over here, but you can get. Like 180 proof rums over here, stuff like that. Minute exploit, are you right, mate? I'm only gonna be on for about 50 more minutes. We're good to see you on. You've caught a drinking stream. That's I won't care if Crosby get banned. I don't have any. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, though, Zed. I, you know, you know me, I have got quite a few. I, I'm not gonna cry about it if they do. You know, there's, there's not a lot you can do about it. Um, it's the old, as I say, with all the other stuff, if you don't think you're ever going to get a visit from the police, well, they might never know, but I can't risk it, sadly. I was talking to Mark about it earlier. I would just replace it with something just as good. They can take whatever they want, and I'll always be able to replace it with something that still performs the same. If I've got to go for bows, go for bows. Slingshot rifles. I don't reckon they'd ever ban slingshot rifles. <laughs> but as you said, you can have my crossbow when you prize it from my cold, dead fingers. You right, John? All flash of the air rifles up here are regulated. But getting a ticket is easy. Blinking is a reasonable excuse if you have a garden or a place to shoot. I would register mine. Uh, got a clean record, not to worry about. Yeah, I would, I would, I would. You know what I mean? You're right, Stephen Plaster. That's a very mellow drinking stream compared to most. Um, well, it's been mostly movies, weapons, and banter. It's been a nice one, isn't it? It's been a nice, 
Yeah, definitely. Um, that's yeah, been a nice sort of mellow, chilled out sort of drinking stream, isn't it? Yeah. Probably because I didn't say I was in the thing. No, but I I agree with you. It's been quite good, isn't it? Dave said, yeah, I'll get a license for any of my weapons because I buy one for my fishing rods. Exactly. I would, I would, and if they ban them outright, you know, there ain't a lot I could do. I'll just go on to the next best thing. That's all you can do, really, in this country. Singh said, there was something on Yahoo News about crossbow guy. That's it, Singh. That's exactly why I was talking about it. Yeah, the bloke who killed his neighbours. Killed the neighbour and shot the wife, anyway. Yeah. See, well, I'll tell you why I'm slightly convinced that they are actually going to do it now. Because um, she says she's basically going to spend the rest of her life, you know, dedicated to getting crossroads regulated, you know. And if, if I had said that, I would be doing it. <laughs> yeah, Stephen. Who is Stephen Plaster and who is Stephen Plastered? I want to know. <laughs> Come on. you got a different name. There's two names there. <clears throat> John said, what are your thoughts on 180 foot pound UK legal Umarex air saber? 180 foot pound UK league. That can't be, can it? <sighs> what is that? Like the, the bow ones or something like the bow shooting things. Oh uh, yeah. Is that 180 pound PCP? Yeah. They they look good, John, but they're very 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 expensive. So I'd never get one. Oh, your pla it's Stephen Plaster is now plastered, so now it's plastered. Chris said, if a man kills a neighbour with a butcher knife, will they review regulated unregulated cutting? That's the thing. It that makes no sense, does it? Irish said, when I used to have my shotgun, my license was seventeen pound a year. And it was 50 quid for an air rifle because they were treated like a real rifle. That's, yeah, that's stupid, isn't it? Although I could afford 50 quid a year. Um, that's stupid, isn't it? Tactically, I can see in 10 years in the future, we're all sat watching Mike with his wall covered in potato peelers and everything else has been banned. Exactly. Exactly. It won't be just potato peelers. I'll probably have some axes. You know, some tools, you know, we'll have some saws and that up there, maybe chainsaw, um, pickaxe, you know, <laughs> tool collector. <laughs> That's the thing, though. They can't ban tools. So I'll just modify my fucking tools. Tactical tools. Tactical tools, motherfucker. <laughs> You know, I just modded them so they fucking dig quicker, mate. <laughs> JB said a knife and a fork, plastic, of course, to stay legal. Exactly. Imagine it. I'll show you something I got in the post today. It's probably a bit useless. It's, it might save me some money on. Um, because I keep getting sent some quite expensive stuff to review. When I do reviews, because I'm essentially getting paid, I try to look slightly more um, respectable. So I bought these. They're not exactly great, but it's it saves me putting fucking plastered on constantly. In fact, they're terrible, but um, I don't know. It saved me putting plasters on my hands constantly. It, you know, when I'm doing a review, you'd only see like that much. I think it's better than nothing. Orion, how you doing, mate? You all right? <clears throat> North House, regulation is better than banning. Either way, the criminal won't give a fuck. Law abiding citizens get reamed. The fact that the UK pistol shooting team needs to go abroad to shoot is ridiculous. Yeah, it's utterly, utterly fucking pathetic, isn't it? But yeah, I, I can understand um, regulation. Yeah. 
I can understand. I don't necessarily agree with it, but you know, what I, mean. I, I know where it comes from. I know. I know why they're doing it. Whether I agree with it, different story. But the other thing in, in this country, we don't have a lot of fucking choice, really, because no matter who's in power, it's exactly the fucking same. No one really would keep any of the stuff we want. Yes, nice finger condoms. <laughs> they look like pervert gloves. You're better off with the dance. I just thought, you know, it's a bit, it's terrible doing a review of some big company and your fucking A cab showing. <laughs> Although, all of the big companies, I just think they don't know what it means. So just, you know, didn't look it up. <clears throat> Especially the old Chinese companies, they don't they didn't fucking know. <laughs> That's why I love Olight. Olight, man. Olight sends me flashlights that are worth 200 quid. And I do a video. It gets 200 views. Here's the next one. Here is 100 quid torch. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? It's uh, weird. Good job that these are foreign companies. I suppose I can still make out it doesn't mean what it means. I mean, how do they know it's supposed to mean what they think it means? I might have just had it for something else. <clears throat> There's, uh, actually, it's the Conservatives that bring in the weapon riches. Is it? I didn't know. I just assumed it was whoever was in power. It didn't, it, it, for me, it just thought, is it always been the Conservatives, as I said? Lord Flaster, all guns should be legal in the UK. But I understand the need to tie ownership of them to a keeper. Now nah, you're right, Jed. You're right. No, if that if that's actually what it is, you know, that's not being political. That's just that's stating a fact, isn't it? Because I don't actually know. I don't vote. I don't pay much attention to um, politics, in all honesty. Yeah, Dad's going to have to get uh, timed out for that. <laughs> oh, yes. Irishman, you just can't the perfect thing. Yeah, if, any, if, if one of the Chinese companies ever says, what does that mean? All Chinese are brilliant. <laughs> it's fucking perfect. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking, that's, that's it. Don't even need to put the things on there. That's a waste of money. They come from America and everything. Right, I'm going to have to go off at exactly 12, me and maybe a couple of minutes later, but not much longer. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'll be, I might try and put a video on tomorrow, I don't know. Actually, no, I won't. If I do put a video on tomorrow, it might be a short. I'll see if I've got a short video to put on. I ain't got no other videos. I don't have got any ready. I'm supposed to do the torch videos, but torch videos for me are always a chore. But they're a chore that at least I get paid for, sort of thing. I don't get paid for them, but I can sell the torches. <clears throat> you're off jim good night mate i'll be on for a little bit longer but <clears throat> what you at tonight jim how's your um i know a bit too late now but um got any games on the go i'm playing final fantasy 7 remake at the minute <laughs> daring him to, to I don't even know if you can even I don't think you mods can time each other out no you can can't you quite hilarious that mods can time each other out no don't time him out just in case he wants to say goodnight because if he does he won't be a, he won't be able to because <laughs> the problem is you can't take a timeout off otherwise I'd just say do it 
you know, the joke. But no, you can't, you can't, I can't remove it. Reeve said, I've been making a weed slasher sword in the Bowie mic. I'm trying to base the sword on a World War II officer sword. That sounds great. You'll have to send me some pictures of that, Reeve, because I like the sound of all the stuff you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge time to me out last Wednesday asking. Can't even remember that. <laughs> I know I can. I don't know if mods can. Oh, you get a Wendy ass. I'll go to the Wendy ass. Don't know about streaming, though. If I do it, it'll have to be after I've watched the film. I probably won't be capable of doing it then. Jim said, playing Fable at the moment, Mike, on the PC. Ah, nice one, Jim. Yeah, I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. I am getting to Wendy, I see, definitely. Persia said, we never got... Oh, you lucky bastard tonight. No, nah, you missed it, Persia, you missed it. Right, come on, someone tell me something they got They got that was good. I have put it on today, definitely. You must have missed it, mate. You must have missed it, George. All right, someone tell me something they got given that's good lately. It was for tactical, wasn't it? And Because I, I actually butchered his whole entire... Um, Message at first. Brief said, Will do, Mike. When it's done, I'll send you the picture on Instagram. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Sounds brilliant. Come on, someone tell me anything. I'm going to show you, Persia. Come on, someone tell me something that they got given today that was good. Anything. Don't ask me something you got given, something you bought, anything. <laughs> Come on. Anything. Did you get a bunk up with the missus? You know, I do. <laughs> Brave shell, I got a new Lambo, Mike. Ooh, lucky bastard. <laughs> so, the best one is, we didn't, we, this is the one I'd want to do every time. Didn't get no trials tonight, but had there been a trial, I would have said, What are you, retarded? <laughs> Orion said, "Got the new Olight M2R Pro Ocean." No, not, ah, nice one. Do you know what I've got? Maybe the ones you're talking about, Orion. These will be raffled off soon. If, what do you lot reckon about doing a raffle for these? Pound an entry, get as many, you can do as many entries as you want. If you're part of Patreon, you're already in it. <clears throat> Says that I don't get given things. Don't say that, Zed. I'm going to have to start sending you things soon if you don't get nothing. <sighs> Lord Flyshot said, need to do a movie stream some night, get a bunch of us watching the same film. I want to do that. I've definitely, I've been planning that for ages. Yeah, I've been planning to do that for ages, Lord Flyshot. The only problem is, though, I won't be able to have the audio of what I'm watching, so I'd have to probably watch it with earphones, and you won't be able to see it. But I'd like to do that. So we're all watching the same film, say on something like Film 4, and yeah, we have a chat about it while watching it. Yeah, I'd like to do that, definitely. We'll sort it out one night or something like that. Is that the one, Orion? Yeah, the old, the um, the whole light stuff's brilliant. You can win that stuff soon. <laughs> Dan said, Zed, Mike doesn't either. But fuck me, he's great at finding things. <laughs> exactly. Right, I'm going to have to go off soon. Like any minute now. Um, yeah. Lord Flash, I, I'll definitely sort it out one night. I would like, I, I reckon we'll have to do it like something like on a film on the telly, basically. So we can all just watch it at the same time on the telly, you know, like a film for film. And when the advert comes on, we can all go for a piss or whatever. Um, yeah, I will have, let me write that down. And I will have a serious think about setting that up soon.
and how to do it. Fuck's sake, try to write when you're drunk as a cunt. <laughs> I'll do it. Two. Together. I could just about read my right in there. Right. Thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. I probably won't be able to do a Wendy Ash stream because I said I'd watch a film. Um, no, Mother, I promise you I will not forget your own package. It, one of them will be sent Monday, 100%. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, and I'll sort out a thing where we can watch. We'll, I'll be on a live stream, but I'll be watching with earphones. And we can all watch the same film at the same time. You can watch it in, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or something on iPlayer. Yeah. It's just what you want, what you want is that why I thought it'd be good on telly is because it starts, it's trying to get everyone to start a film at exactly the same time. You know what I mean? At least if it's on the telly, you know it's, you've got no choice. You're all watching it when it's on. Otherwise, everyone has to start the film at exactly the right time to be watching the same bits. Yeah. That's it, mother. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll talk about that in, on Twitter. But yeah, I'm percent mate. Yep. Yeah. I might, if you want, if you can, if you can decide a second one and you got the money, I could do two, two separate packages, for two different bits. If you want, if you, if you're that desperate. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. I probably won't be active till Monday at least. Now, yeah. WC film yards. I reckon that'd be good. That'd be good. All right. Good night, everyone. Because I've got to be quiet because people are in bed and. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Zed. All right. Now I know that. We're, I'll try and sort it out another way. Well, I could always find something. If it's something that's on tally, I could always pick something that you could easily get hold of. You know what I mean? Somewhere else. All right. We'll sort it out, Zed. All right. Good night, everyone. See you. Oh, see you when I see you. Good night. Cheers for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. It's been a good one tonight. I enjoyed it. Good night.